Here's another building just outside of Corning, full of birds. You can hear them cutting up in there. It's an old schoolhouse. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie's not sitting in the van today. Birds? Yeah. And they're mad. Ooh. Just keep your head down. Oh, I got a... Ooh. Wow. Yeah, they're... They're not happy that we're in here. That's for sure. Look at the old uh, refrigerator right there. Yeah, these birds are scaring the girls to death. Wow. You can see where the old chalkboard was. Did you find anything? Um, there's an old stove top here. It says Premier on it. It's pink and cute. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is different. Premier. Yep, little small stove. Yep. This would have been a nice, nice little school. That's a neat heater right there. Yeah, that's an old stove. You can tell birds have been in this for years and years. A lot of the wood that was stored in here is even rotted. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go yeah. see what else we can find. I, mean, I want to get a picture of that little stove. Sorry about the noise, guys. We're right on a busy highway, I-29. Saw this on the side of the road and decided to take a look at it. I'd say that's a pretty rare vehicle there. I wonder how long it's been sitting here. Kind of rusted tree right there. At some point, they had a, something taped over it. Can't get the door open. Oh, somebody's broke the glass out of the other side. I'm gonna go look, look in from the other side. If you know what this is, let me know what you think in the comments below. There's the dash. It's got the wheel wells in here and the extra fuel. Looks like it's got a fuel tank back there. Wow. It's a little uh, window crank right there on the dashboard. I don't think I've seen that before. And there's a shot from the front. That was a cool find. It's got very old tires on it. This thing hasn't been on the road in many, many years. All right, we're gonna we'll hop back in the van and head down the road. It's an abandoned house there. We've already passed a couple. We're coming into the small town of Corning, Missouri. There's a lot of old homes just about a ghost town. It was a decent sized town at one time when the train trains moved. They, uh, well, when the station closed down, the town kind of died out. Yeah, you see these old buildings here. Wow. Look at that one. Yep. Would this have been their main street? Yep, that was, that was their main street. Oh, the arch windows are beautiful. Yep, keep out. Yep, have it posted. This would have been a really nice house at one time. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. 
And there's another one right across the street. Private property. Roll your window down there. Yep. Coming up to a church right now. I wonder what that little building was. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, they could have been a schoolhouse. Yeah, I bet you like it was. I have no idea. 1890. Well, we were able to find an old picture of this church. There it is. Boy. I'm gonna zoom in up there. I see something hanging. Could be a, uh, ah, it's just some kind of bird's nest or something. Yep, 1893, this church was founded. There's another old building I didn't see a minute ago over there. be interested to look up some of the old pictures of that town and I'm wondering what their peak population was. You see the, the train still goes through here but there's no uh, train stations or anything anymore like there would have been. A lot of these towns died out when the uh, trains quit running. This is another house just outside of Corning found out Corning was actually a pretty good sized town. You would never know it now. Yep. And look at this bay window here. Look at the little metal work above it. That was a very beautiful house. That oh yeah, yeah. A lot of the glass is busted out. The roof is not just all that bad. Kind of looks like this house could be saved. Yeah, I bet it could. Yep, no trespassing sign on the front and on the tree. Well, we are in the town of Craig, Missouri. Look at this tractor mechanic here. Yep. <laughs> for sale. Tons of old tractors for sale. Yeah, there's that uh, shop there on the corner. I think it said I've had enough. Hang on. <laughs> He's got a lot of, of uh, tractors over there. All right, this building here on Main Street was built in 1928. And there's their post office. Would like to see what that building looked like before they covered it with metal. We're going to try to find some old pictures. Now this building used to have another one uh, buttered up to it. You can see where the floor joist, that was the floor joist that used to come out of that building for the next one. And then you can see where the roof joists attached up there. That building's in terrible condition. It's just crumbling. Oh, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's got that door on the side of that building. It's got the flat here. Where at, Jamie? Sorry. Right there. Metal sliding door. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, that's interesting. Well, this was a whole other building. See, that, see, that's where the floor joist would come across right there. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh-huh, and then the roof joist above it. And you still see the tar line there. Yeah. Wow. This metal right here, it says who uh, built it. I don't know if that's Mesker or Mesker. Yep, Bros. brothers. Yep. Front, Front builder. Builders. St. Louis. See, you don't usually don't see these rusted out like this. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yep. Wow. Keep out. Oh yeah, this building has collapsed. 
they're not wanting any they're not wanting anybody to go in hopefully you can see a little bit oh gosh yep what are you looking at faith 1923 NWA on this building. 1923. It's a plain brick building. Glass is busted out of it. Undertaking scores. General merchandise. I didn't yep. see that. <laughs> Look right here. Maybe. Okay, yeah, just a empty building. Love the ceiling yep, it's open in the back. I can see straight through. These buildings here, or they're just letting them go completely. This is an entrance place, not closed or not open. Right. Hornet's <laughs> nest. The old horseshoe. That one needs roof on it. The old train depot. It says City Hall now, but. I believe I found an old picture of this when it was the train depot. You can tell the style. I want to go look in the window. Under 24 hours if I want. Uh huh. I think they found something over here. That's a whole so, right there. So this right here, it. it I know it turns. Yeah, this was a switch track, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. That's what I was trying to yep. say, but I couldn't think of the name. I have no idea what that is. A, a switch track. You know, when you have two tracks come together, so that is, is how you select what track the train's going to go. Yeah. That's cool. All right. It's pretty I neat. I love this work this up here on the building. Yep. Very nice. Heck. <laughs> Kind of a sandy gravel road mixed in town. They have uh, concrete curbs, but the roads still kind of feel like, uh, look like gravel. That's an old house. Got some old cars back there. There's another old building here. Double doors, I'm not sure what this would have been. I thought it was a garage at first, but it doesn't have any garage doors on it anywhere. Just these double doors in the front. You can tell this town's kind of dying out. It's an old abandoned house down there. Got some uh, a Chevy, a Dodge, and a Ford truck sitting in the backyard. Look at there. <laughs> yep, another one. You see, uh, we, we're just seeing one after another here in this town. I love the gingerbread. Oh yeah, me too. Look, look at the styling on this house. Man, that's a, that's a shame. Yeah, this one has a. Uh, it looks like they're roofing it. It's got a trailer backed in here, so they're uh, fixing it up. I don't like filming people in their yard. <laughs> he was standing out there. He yeah, has another abandoned house, an old mobile home. Yeah, just one after another here. Yeah, there's another abandoned house there. Somebody had vinyl sided it at one time. And this is their school. Home of the Hornets. Yeah, not sure when this school was built. I'm sure it's been here a while. Too many, too many houses over here. Faith asked a few minutes ago if I would fix up one of these old houses. And said no way, not, not over here. Every 
everything's in a floodplain. This was all underwater uh, in the last few years. And resale values here would be nothing. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe and share my video with your friends to help us get our page going. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.